Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share you the importance of retirement planning. At the same time, I will also share on how much should we um, allocate or set aside for our retirement planning. But before anything else, don't forget to subscribe on my channel and click the bell below so that you'll be notified once I upload a new video. So let's start! According to PRA or Philippine Retirement Authority, only 1% of Filipinos are living in luxury once they retire and 9% are living comfortably. So meaning to say, only 10% out of total population were able to prepare for their retirement. So how important it is to prepare for our retirement? So imagine your life living comfortably right now. So. As living comfortably, meaning to say you were able to provide the three basic necessities in life. So you're able to provide the good food that you want, clothing for yourself and your family at the same time, the shelter. And there is only one variable for these three necessities in our life. Or meaning to say these three things or these three basic necessities in life is basically known as lifestyle. So meaning to say your lifestyle will be determined based on your income if your income is on average you only have average food that you can provide for your for yourself and your family at the same time shelter so the bigger the income you have the better lifestyle you have for you and your family and the smaller income you have it will also determine the food that you can provide clothing and shelter for your family so that's how we can determine our lifestyle because your lifestyle always depends on your income and this income will stop first when you get sick second when you retire or getting old the third one either disability or death so those are the factors that where your income will stop if we were not able to set aside our income for our savings for our retirement at the same time for our investments so if you are still working you have your income that you can provide for you and your family but if you are able to plan ahead and set aside like your income, your finances into the insurance company, it will work. Meaning, the insurance company will provide the income or will replace the income that you were not able to provide for your family because of the age, disability, critical illness, or even death. So how does retirement work? Papaano ba nangyayari si retirement? So imagine your life. We have four cycles in life actually. From 0 to 20 years old, your life, di ba? Um, you are not earning income yet because you're still a student, you're still studying. And from the 21 to 40 years old, these are the time of your life that you were able to have your first job, acquiring a property or house for your family, and um, starting your own family, of course, at the same time having kids. And your priority in this stage is that you can provide good education for your family, home, at the same time, you can provide a good food for them. And under 41 to 60 years old, this would be the time that your kids already um, done with their school and they were able to provide and stand for their own selves already and this will be the best time for you to start planning for your retirement savings at the same time starting a new business while at 61 to 80 years old this would be the time for your life that you must enjoy and um, achieve the goal that you were not able to achieve by the time that you're starting your own family by the, uh, by the age of 21 to 60 years old if you live until 80 years old, imagine yourself that if you live until 8 years old and you stop working at the age of 60, you have 20 years of living that you don't have income. So if you fail to protect, if you fail to do the retirement planning ahead, what will happen to the 20 years of your life without income? So that's why you need retirement planning and retirement planning should be part of your plan in the near future so magano ba how much is your retirement dapat so you must allocate like five times of your yearly income so ibig sabihin 
if you are earning yearly 1 million in a year, you must have to set aside 5 times the yearly income that you do have. I think that's all for today and thank you for watching.